Kelly, you talk too much about Saw. I'm going to get you in the DVD. The reason why, he's my favorite actor next to Johnny Depp. But still, I want to give people, give him credit what he does. Like, he knew Alan Rickman before Harrison King. He was in the movie for the winter ship. No. But still. Um, what's his name? Alan Rickman gave Sean Biggerstaff a good, um, big break. His big break was Harry Potter in the first movie, second movie. And I don't know if he wasn't, like, his character got cut off in The Prisoner of Askman, I found out. But, and also he's in, um, Deathly Hallows Part 2, I think. Yeah, like, he says, come on, if you didn't see the movie, sorry, spoilers, spoiler. Um, yeah, but you're going to say, oh, my God, you talk about himself, Max. I don't care. I want to get the guy, like, famous. Like, he is great. He's smart. He logic. He has theories. He has philosophy. I'm, you're going to, like, oh, my God, you have new words. Oh, my God, because I keep reading, I learn things. I'm not going to be stopped learning since I got out of house in high school. Bleh. I'm not going to be a blunt zombie. I keep on reading and learn things and this and that. Plays. Shakespeare. This. That. Burns. This. And Edgar Allan Poe. But I'm just, this is my also. This is a random philosophy. If William Shakespeare said all his plays and stuff, what would love would be like if he never experienced love and hatred between two people like Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet and then there's Burns the Scottish poet and then there's Edwin Helen Poe my also philosophy is what if Edwin Helen Poe was a light writer instead of a dark gloomy gothic writer what would that happen with what we would do with all the plates we, like, really different. You're like, oh my god, you're giving me all this heart attack with... Oh my, mm, heart attack. A migraine with all your philosophies and brains. Like, fuck you, seriously. But seriously. I know I make videos about some of your stuff. Okay. I'm gonna probably send this to him, but listen. All his fans out there, please, support him. Watch his videos, watch his movies, whatever. Like, if he makes videos, music videos, like... People, like, came to see him. Watch him. He's good. He's a good actor. He's a good singer. He's a good songwriter. He's great. He's just amazing. Like, he's like, yeah, he's older than me. What do you fucking do? But he's really smart, educational person. I'm just not saying that because you're standing up for him. And he has good sense of good music. I've heard he wrote a status about... The Red Hat Chili Peppers. <laughs> he wrote, respond to a Christ on a bike. That made me hilarious. That made me laugh. <laughs> but still, you still like appreciate him. He's really, really good and he's smart and he's funny and he's awesome. Like, who wouldn't mind Sean Biggerstaff being a comedy movie? Like, it'd be pretty hilarious. <laughs> That'd be pretty weird. But he doesn't, I don't really think he does comedy. I don't know. But he does like a lot of serious ones. But he did one like Mary Queen of Scots, but it would like, really applaud him with that because he's Scottish and that's part of his um tradition. But he keeps his Scottish heritage to the point he wears a kilt in like all his um previews, premieres, the and I just wanna applaud him for what he does because he's a great actor, great artist, singer and songwriter, all that. I want to thank Alan Rickman to make him part of the Harry Potter series. Without him, he would be, like, a theater actor or something. Because he does theater work, too. Like, once he did, um, The Wicked Man, I don't, he, I don't think he does it. He doesn't do it anymore, but I really don't know. I think he does other ones, but he's currently doing a audio thing. Of Doctor Who with his do Doctor Who's daughter. You're gonna say, Oh my god, you know so much about him, you're gonna stalk him. No, I don't stalk him. I just feed information and learn about what he does and watch it and then like pass it on to my fellow fans of him. 
Why should you care? Because the guy... I don't know, he just helps me with my depression and anxiety because, like, the things he does and is smart, it just, like, makes me think more and keeps my mind busy from all the suicidal thoughts and this and that. And my depression is, like, no, um, anxiety goes... I'm, like, focused on one thing and this and that. And I want to thank him for being the greatest, like... I have like a lot of heroes like who are like Green Day, he wrote music for their anxiety and I applaud him for that. But I know it's random to say, oh, you're right to talk about him so much, you should go marry him. He, well, I know a lot of my people like me, they compare me and him together because we're just smart and literate and a lot of philosophies and this and that. I'm like, uh, like the guy's smart. He talks about the U.S. government. He's all the way in Glasgow. Like, like, and I, like, talk about Scotland. I don't even live in Scotland. I have, like, Scottish flag in my room and my bar's like, mm -hmm. where I'm actually a little bit Scottish. My nana's brother is Scottish, so. Applause for my Scottish people. Woo. And I'm Irish and all that crap. But still, I want to thank him. John, thank you for everything you do. You get to, like, you need to get to appreciate more with all that stuff you do. Because you're great, you're smart, you're awesome, and thank you for being my hero. And I want you to make this video because you're my hero, and I hope you see this video. And probably comment it or something. I don't know, or comment my Twitter. But you're just amazing, and I'm glad I watched some of your movies. And thank you for... Let me get my mind busy off of my depression. And also my best friend, pause to her too, because those are the two people who, like, keep my mind busy. <laughs> she tells me, think about Sean Bakerson. It makes you happy. Think about me. It makes me happy. Look, applause those people, please. Kudos to them. Give them a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow my, um, social media down below. And also, I don't talk about, like, I talk about my day. It's like my journal about my depression and anxiety. And, um... Yeah, I did this a Kindle egg thing. Anyway, applaud to Sean Biggerstaff for being just awesome and being great and smart and whatever. And his first move video, like, first song video, um, first play he did was Willy Wonka and no, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, a listed group. And he's a German person, and that was impressive. I didn't see it, but I think that's impressive. So... If you're watching this, Sean, thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot to me that you I have somebody to, like, have a lot of things in common and understand things more and help me learn things. It just helps me, I don't know, it just makes our, um like fans and then an actor have things in common and talk about things this and that it's not like we're coupling and this and that I'm like i just want to thank him like like realize have something in common with like a famous actor because people actors are people too you know just letting you know on the cut look sign sean biggerstep is a person too okay i love you all look like i'm a spy.